You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. Welcome back to News Leader 9 at noon. You're taking a live look at from our Alpha Insurance Sky Cam overlooking Eufaula. It looks pretty bright out yeah, there. Yeah, pretty good. And you notice the low there this morning was 38 degrees. It's now yes. 66, almost 30 degrees warmer. I mean, uh, today, this morning, uh, temperatures were really cold, predominantly mm -hmm. not because of a cold air mass. It was because the air was so dry. Mm -hmm. And with clear skies, all that heat from the ground just psh, goes into space. Now so. people can grab their lunch and enjoy yes, the weather, Yes, they can. Right? Go out and enjoy the sunshine. Things warming up nicely. But, you know, they, we will get a cold air mass, a true one coming in here as we head on the seven day. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but another warm and sunny day ahead for us here this afternoon. A few high clouds, but not really looking that bad. Rain returning heading into Sunday. That looks like the best chance for rain. And then uh, uh, hopefully the swan song for old man winter is going to get a lot colder as we head toward next week. Now looking right now, the Double Nine radar network all clear across the region. Expected to remain that way for today. And I think for most of tomorrow as well before that rain gets in here. Currently 63 degrees in Columbus, 68 in Alexander City, 68 in Eufaula, and 61 in Thomaston. And elsewhere across the southeast, a delightful day. I know Chuck loves when I use that word, delightful. So looking pretty good. 66 there in Montgomery, 62 in Huntsville, and 65 degrees over in Augusta. High pressure and control of our weather. Sunny skies, not looking too bad out there. Just a few high, wispy clouds you kind of see out here on the visible imagery. But uh, generally a sunny sky and control of our weather. But uh, we will see some changes, though. What's going to happen is our jet stream, that's that river of air that kind of drives weather systems along, it's going to start taking a dip here across the east. We're going to watch ridging here in the west, and the jet stream is going to start diving further south here in the east. It's going to allow the cold air come out of Canada. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days. It's really going to set up a unsettled pattern in the sense of some showers possibly heading into Monday, but noticeably cooler, especially for those daytime highs. Look at that future cast. Kick this into motion for you as you go ahead and see the clouds increasing here for today. Heading for tomorrow, couldn't rule out a shower or two tomorrow, but the best rain chance will be coming into Sunday. Watch the precipitation increase here across the area a little bit. Staying off to the south, this is a little bit less than what we were seeing on this morning's run, but generally looking at unsettled weather continuing for Sunday, also into your Monday period as well. Breaking down of the regions, here we go. Into the Alabama area, 74 for Auburn, 75 for Tuskegee. Overnight lows mostly here in the lower 50s. On the Georgia side, lower to mid 70s, looking at 70 degrees in Pine Mountain, 75 here in Columbus, and 72 in Buena Vista. Overnight lows dropping down into a few 40s here, but generally into the lower 50s, 51 degrees there in Manchester. In the southwest Georgia, temperatures here into the middle 70s and overnight lows mostly in the low 50s once again, 52 degrees in Richland. The next seven days, check it out like this. Could be into the upper 70s for tomorrow. We will see the clouds increasing. 68 with a chance of rain on Sunday. That's our best chance of rain the way it looks right now. And uh, might have to up the rain chance just a little bit heading into Monday with the new data coming in. But uh, look, notice how much cooler we are. Daytime highs only right around 60, even into the upper 50s come Wednesday. And overnight lows, yeah, I could see temperatures even in Columbus into the mid-30s for Wednesday and Thursday. So. Wow, that's not even a cool down. That's oh, a no, cold that's, down. that's a cold down, <laughs> yeah, especially when the normal high this time of year is supposed to be in the low 70s. So just got to deal with one more cold push, hopefully. Okay, thanks, Greg. All right. A deadly